Hello all, and today we will discuss how to mount an attached EBS volume on a running Linux EC2 instance. Before we proceed further ahead, I would like to tell you that this video assumes that the Linux EC2 instance is launched and the EBS volume is attached to the EC2 instance. If you need to know how to create an EBS volume and attach it to an EC2 instance, please refer to my video create an EBS volume and attach it to a running Linux EC2 instance. For your convenience, I will have the link posted in this video's description. Okay, so now let's uh, enlist all the steps as to how to go about mounting an attached EBS volume on a running EC2 instance. So the first thing that we will do is we will enlist all the volumes uh, using the command lsbsk. After we've enlisted all the volumes that are attached to our EC2 instance, we will ensure that our EBS volume is only attached but not mounted. Only the root user can mount a volume. Hence, in order to mount the volume, we need to switch to the root user. After we switch to the root user, the first thing that we will do is install the file system. Now for this demo, I will be installing fourth extended file system, but you can install ext3 or xfs as well. After we have installed the file system, we will create a directory to mount our volume. And after we've created a directory to mount our volume, we will, be, we will mount our volume uh, uh, using the command sudo mount. And as you see, this command is probably the most important command. Um, you have to mention or you have to ensure the device name is correct and your mount point location or the path is correct as well. After we have successfully mounted our volume, we will again enlist all the volumes to ensure that our volume was successfully mounted. Finally, we will switch to our mount point location and then create a test file. Okay, so let's dive into the demo. So I'll switch to my AWS account. And just to uh, speed up things, as you see, I have created this uh, EC2 instance. My EC2 instance is running at this time. And this is my public IP. So I'm gonna have my public IP copied. And this is the T2 micro uh, instance. It is using this pub security group, which is public IP SG. So let's uh, click on that. And as you see, I have port 80 and 22 enabled. Outbound ports or all traffic is all default. Okay, then let's switch back to our EC2 instance over here. Okay. And let's go ahead and connect to this particular EC2 instance. So if you need to know um, how to go about launching an EC2 instance, etc., I have created a separate video. Uh, so please uh, look out for other videos on my channel. Okay, so in order to uh, speed up the process, what I have done is I have actually uh, started this party session as you see over here, and I'm already uh, connected to our EC2 instance via SSH. And as you see, I have executed this command lsbsk to enlist all the volumes that are attached and or mounted uh, to this EC2 instance, okay? So uh, as we see, we have two volumes. One is this, which is the default volume, which is for eight GB. And this is the volume that uh, I just created uh, that is for one GB and that has been attached to this EC2 instance. Now our, our one GB volume is only attached to the EC2 instance, but it is not mount, it's not mounted. As you see, there is no mount point, okay? So let's follow our steps and uh, get this particular volume mounted on this EC2 instance. So for the for our convenience, I have actually copied all the steps over here in, in my notepad. So the first thing that we will do is we will switch to the root user, okay? 
So let's go ahead and do that. So the command to switch to the root user is sudo su. So now we've switched to the root user. The next thing we will do is we will install file system on this attached volume. So let's go ahead and copy a command. Okay, now we need to replace the device name over here with slash dev slash sxvdf. I believe I got it right. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit enter. And as you see, our uh, file system has been installed. Okay, so after we have installed our file system, let's go ahead and create a directory or a mount point for our volume. So the command to do that is sudo mkdir and I'm going to uh, give a mount point name as my dir. So let's go ahead and do that. So our directory has been created. Now let's go ahead and mount our volume. So this is the, the command for that. So right, let's copy the command here. Now let's go further ahead and replace and substitute a device name. So it's slash dev slash xvdf. And we need to put an amount point location, which is my dir. So it's going to be my dir. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And our volume has got mounted successfully. Okay, so we have completed all the steps. So the next step over here is to go ahead and enlist all the volumes. And now our volume should be mounted. So the command to enlist all the volumes that are attached and or mounted is lsblk. So let's go ahead and type that and hit enter. Okay, so as you see, our volume has been successfully mounted. Is mounted as slash home slash ec2 user slash my dir. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch our directory to slash my dir. Okay, so we have switched our directory to my dir over here. And let's go ahead and list all the files here. So as you see, there's nothing much. Let's create a file. So I'm going to create a file over here and look. The command to create a file is vim and I'm going to give the file name as my file. Okay, so hit enter. Okay. Let's go ahead and type something over here. So I'm going to type this is my first file that I have created and saved. Good stuff. Okay, so in order to uh, save a file in Linux, hit escape, colon, WQ, hit enter, and a file has been saved. Let's double check if it's been saved or not. So we're going to go ahead and try and edit it again using the same command, win, win uh, my file. And as you see, our file has been saved. Now this time we don't want to save the file because we have not made any changes. So the command would be escape. So hit escape. And then Q and exclamation and hit enter. Okay, so we have successfully uh, mounted our uh, EBS volume. We've also created a file on our EBS volume. So let's see if a file has been created. Okay, so as you see, our file has been created and it is uh, visible over here. Okay, so hopefully this uh, video was helpful. We learned how to mount our uh, attached EBS volume. Uh, we learned how to install the file system. And we also saw how we could create a file on our uh, mounted volume. Okay, friends, um, I will be actually creating another video, which is going to be a follow up to this video, wherein we'll create a snapshot of this mounted volume where we have created this file, my file, and then use that snapshot to create another EBS volume and have that mounted uh, on uh, another EC2 instance, okay? So I'll have that video posted shortly. Till then, thank you.
and have a nice day. Bye-bye.